All right, good morning. Today I am on my way to the Dam Square because we are going to witness the National Tulip Day here in Amsterdam. Um, from what I understood, it's like they cover the entire dam with like crates of tulips and people can come in, stand in line and pick some tulips, bring them home and it's all for free. So we thought that it would be a good idea to go there. So we're gonna see if we can get some flowers. I am really excited to get some flowers. I haven't had flowers in a very long time. So I'm walking towards the dam and I'm very excited to see some cute flowers. All right, so I might have just really messed up a little bit. Um, I got to the dam. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be early. I'm gonna film some shots already. And I got there, and I was like, oh my god, I'm the first person. They're not even here setting up yet. It was early. Then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna get a coffee, and by then they'll be setting up, and I can film a little bit. And I went, I went back, and they still weren't setting up. So I was like, okay. It's getting kind of late. The event starts at like 1. It was like, I don't know, like 10.30. I was like, okay, now they have to start setting up. But they still weren't. So <laughs> the date was not wrong. In fact, the location was. So <laughs> this event has like always been held at the Dam Square for like years and years. But this year, <laughs> it's the first year that it's actually being held at the Museum Tine meaning I'm in the complete wrong location. All right, so Yudai just called me. He already got there because he was supposed to join me, but now he's there before me. So apparently there are a lot of people already. It's like super busy and there is a line. So I'm very, very disappointed if I'm not gonna get any flowers today. So he's already in the line. I'm gonna join him in a little bit, um, but are we gonna stand in line about an hour to get free flowers? Yes, I am. Yes, I am, definitely. So if you've ever been to Holland, you might have seen that, and might have known that the tulip is actually the Dutch national flower, but many Dutch people know and also ignore the fact that the flower does not actually originate in Holland at all. The flower is originally from Turkey, I believe. I'm not 100% sure about that, but we just pretend like it's our national flower and we still go with it. So every single Dutch person knows and does this and has been doing this for years. So we're gonna go to a national festival of a flower that is not even really ours, but we're gonna run with it. All right, so after Lakisha's hectic experience, she rushed to Museum Plein to get some shots before the whole extreme madness erupted. During that time, I was already standing in line, which afterwards proved to have been the right choice. I joined the line at around 12-ish, and the event was supposed to start at 1. So we thought by claiming a place in the line at 12, we would be good. But little did we know, it would take a lot more waiting time after 1 p.m. to actually get in. In total, I think we've waited for two complete hours just to get some flowers. Looking back at it, I think I have to conclude that we are, to be honest, a little crazy. Museumplein is also famous for the big museums that can be found across the square. For example, the Van Gogh Museum, Rijksmuseum and Stedelijk Museum can all be found at this square. So if you ever plan to visit Amsterdam, make sure you check these out. And when the first people came out with their tulips, it made the waiting even harder. We were also a bit unsure whether we would get in in time. Since the organization had announced that there were only 10,000 tulips. But we eventually got in in time. There were four different colors available. Yellow, white, purple and a sort of mix of pink and red. Oh, that's a nice one. You gotta pick the good ones. For what? They're really wet. It's a real nice color. So you have to look for the small ones. That's the trick. Why? Because that's the ones they last longer. But they're small. Exactly. Yes. So we need to grow. I 
Yay, the first. <laughs> Alright, we just saw how the Kisha does it. Now we're gonna see how I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> there are four tulips, but like <laughs> Whoa. many of these. I don't Something know. Something wrong, I don't know. Something did really, really wrong. Yeah, these ones are not there. <laughs> They're gonna tell you you have too many. After contemplating life because of those missing tulips, I quickly got it together and continued my tulip picking journey. I do say quickly, but it was almost impossible to quickly pick your tulips and leave, since it was extremely crowded. It sometimes looked like there were relatively more people than actual tulips. Nonetheless, we gathered two amazing bouquets, but not before we finished them off with some white tulips. <laughs> Alright, so we got them. Did it. There are a lot. How many? Uh, 40, I believe. 40, right? Yeah. Do they smell nice? I don't really smell anything. No. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed our Dutch tulips experience. If you did, drop us a like and subscribe below so you don't miss the next video. Also, make sure to check out our Netherlands playlist to see all the other content we shot here. See you in the next one.